Yo, yo, what's up? This is the second video in the strength training for breaking series. Today I'm going to give a couple of exercises, a couple of movements that are great for shoulder strength and shoulder stability. Breaking is a very taxing sport for the shoulder joints. And the shoulder joints are very amazing, especially the glenohumeral joint, in that it's a very mobile joint. The downside being that it's not that stable. And during breaking, we all know you put a lot of pressure on those joints. So in this video, I'm going to share a couple of movements, a couple of exercises to increase shoulder stability and become a more overall athlete. So let's go. The first exercise are controlled articular rotations. As you can see, I lay flat on my chest and I put my two fists on the back of my head. At the start of the exercise, I'm going to pull my fists away from my head, creating tension throughout my arms and shoulders. I'm going to try and make as big a circle as I can, meanwhile, inwardly rotating my arms, coming all the way around to my lower back, relaxing, and then doing the same movement in the other direction. So I pull my fists away from my back, straighten out the elbows, Try to keep my arms as high as possible, rotate outwardly and bring my fists all the way to the back of my head. As you can see, as I'm doing, uh, you can add weights and put them around your wrists or hold weights in your hand to increase the difficulty of the movement and challenge your shoulders even more. Next up, we have the pike push-up. What you're going to do here is you're going to elevate your feet using a bench or a box or something else. From there you're going to do push-ups. If this is too hard, you can put your feet on the ground. If this is too easy, however, try raising up your feet and getting your hips more straight in line with your shoulders. So getting your hips straight on top of your shoulders. Next up we have the military press. This is a great alternative to the pike push-up. If you do not have access to a barbell however, just perform the pike push-ups. It's also an overhead pushing movement so the movement is essentially the same. With the military press you have more control over the weight you're using. So I highly recommend it if you do have access to it. And as you can see what I'm doing here is I pick up the barbell. It's at sh chest height, shoulder to chest height. I push it up over my head, I try to do this explos as explosively as possible and slowly drop the weight back until it touches my chest and then I push up again. In breaking it's very important to be explosive so I highly recommend that you use the same pace as I do, exploding up and slowly dropping the weight until it touches your chest. Next up we have the Cuban rotations, these are great for improving shoulder stabilization by training your by training the muscles around your shoulder joint called the rotator cuff muscles as you can see I sit down I put my el elbow in a 90 degree angle and I use a pretty light weight dropping down my arm and pulling it back up with minimal movement in the rest of my body I highly recommend you do this exercise um, as it's great to really really increase the shoulder stabilizing muscles around your shoulder joints. Next up we have the Powell raises. What you're gonna do here is lay on your side and take a pretty light weight to begin with. From there on, while laying on your side, you're gonna straighten out your arm, but not totally locking your elbow. And as you can see, you'll, you'll lift up your arm until your hand reaches for the ceiling and then dropping your arm in a slow and controlled manner. There you have them. Five movements that you should be training as a b-boy or b-girl to ensure that your shoulder is strong enough for all the crazy stuff that you're doing out there. A bonus tip is try to buy some Olympic rings. I've trained with Olympic rings for about five years now and it's amazing how much stronger my shoulders have become. And not only that, they still remain very supple and flexible. So it's a great combination that I would highly recommend for b-boys or b-girls or young athletes. There you go. I hope this video helps. Like, comment and subscribe. It really helps me out. 
and uh, let me know in the comment section what you want to see or if you have any feedback. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.